How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Plug Buddy Fast Four video. Um, so this is gonna be the last episode and I was gonna show you gaming but as you can see things have changed if I hold it up to my camera a little bit sure it's not gonna be the focus but uh, you're probably able to see the folders are gone um, some of them so uh, I have some bad news but it's not that bad uh, there's nothing to worry about uh, I'm actually gonna explain something to you guys uh, so basically what happened was I had to reload the whole system on this thing and I don't know how often people have been doing this but it's been a thing um, but it doesn't happen to everybody it didn't happen to my Q10 and that thing lasted three years maybe four years um, and I had no problem with that of course run into some problems which you would obviously fix um, but other than that there's no problems with this thing and this thing is four times better than the Q10 is twice as much powerful and this thing is blazing fast also I've discovered the remember app which is actually pretty sick I actually put something in and uh, it kind of um, uh, works I mean no they're not you do you idiot um, yeah it's gonna remind me in five minutes that uh, well, it doesn't show you over here but it does show in the lock screen so if I lock it okay well whatever um it doesn't but okay it's gonna just remind me i think it's um but anyway so let's let me explain to you what happened so i had a lot of games well a few of them they were all android and i played one of them which was beach buggy blaze and that's the only one i played a lot and all of a sudden i realized once well when i took my phone out of the pocket it was it was on restarting on his own i like whoa i accidentally pressed the power button that's a bit funny um and that wasn't the case obviously so i just wait for it to power up i logged in i mean uh, uh, put my password in and uh, i went to my day i'm like okay so there's nothing wrong i don't know why i restarted and all uh, maybe i got worried that the power button was messed up right like it automatically pressed itself so um i don't know because look it's it's super clicky and everything um so i got a little worried and so <clears throat> I said, I don't know, we'll see what happens. And so I just left it there for a minute, uh, for a bit. And then I wanted to find out something on the web browser, but I pressed the power button and they just wouldn't turn the screen on. I was like, what the heck? It was frozen. So I did the next best thing, which was to hold the up and down button, hold it down and the red light came on, LED, and it just restarted the whole thing. And I actually started restarting uh, and then logged in. I was like, something's definitely wrong with this now. And so I logged in again. I looked around. I don't know. There was just everything was running perfectly fine. Except the fact that it was hot at the corner. In the top corner, it was flipping, getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Uh, this is the only p corner that gets hot. The rest of them are always cold or just warm sometimes. But that's only if you're doing in intensive stuff. So if you're doing, uh, I don't know, web browser, it's going to get warm not gonna get hot if you listen to music it's gonna stay cold uh if you're uh, watching some pictures you're gonna stay cold watching some videos maybe a little bit warm but if you're doing anything android that's a little like uh, intensive like gaming it will get hot um, but that's you know that's about it and so it got hot and i was like what the heck is going on you're doing something uh and then i just expected or suspected the operating system to just uh, get, get itself uh, in order so because uh, I just rebooted it and so I just waited and uh, for it to cool down and it didn't uh, and all of a sudden I think it just paused again it just froze I tried touching the screen nothing would happen um, the screen screen brightness however did adjust to the lighting so I was kind of funny um, so certainly the device was running in the background but I think it's the processor that overheated and it just automatically shut itself down that's as far as my uh, expectations or skeptical nonsense go um so what, what we, and then obviously i had to find out something and what i did was i knew it was a bad thing i knew we couldn't fix it um but i did find the uh, solution obviously and i also found uh, the problem which was one of the games i was playing and it's android app so whenever you get a blackberry passport just make sure you get some android apps that you don't use in a wrong way or something that just messes up your phone um what it did was i don't know i think it was an advertisement that was trying to download itself or something uh, maybe something like that it just wanted to get something over with and it just couldn't because i didn't have the game on and so i went back on the game because on the cpu usage in the device monitor i was on 50 
three bloody percent. And by the way, the body life is oh wait, uh, there's a huge difference between um, when I first had it and when I reset the thing. And so the Android player was on fifty three percent, and so the system was on thirty three percent over here. And then all of a sudden, the beach boogie blitz, the game came up at thirteen percent, and they went, uh, and then it just all of a sudden they just dropped down and they just crashed the phone. And so I knew the beach boogie blitz was the game that was causing the problem. So I went and I turned it on, and it just instantly crashed. Then that definitely did mean that the game was a problem. And so I tried to reinstall the Android player. I couldn't find it in time before it crashed again. And then I tried to uninstall the game, which no game folder over here, and it didn't actually uninstall anything. And could have gone to Ghost Commander because I don't know, come yesterday. Uh, and that would have taken a long time anyways. Uh, so what I did was moved everything that I have into my SD card. So these are just the things I've downloaded again, obviously. It comes with this, and that is my password exported. And then if you go to the memory card, um, here's the thingy, uh, here's the, uh, the documents where I've got all the stuff. Uh, and then here's the other stuff, uh, here's my documents, here's my downloaded files, and my music is obviously already on here. So <clears throat> what I did was moved everything I could to the SD card, and then I plugged it into my PC, and I just reset uh, the whole thing. Um, yeah, that's, and that kind of fixed it, but it also came with the, some pros. The battery life has gone a lot longer. I charged this yesterday at about 10 p.m. before I went to sleep at 2 o'clock in the night. Um, and it's on 77%. Yesterday, at the end of the day, it was on 40%. Bloody, it's gone It's gone really, really long. I thought when it first came out of the box, it was long, long but it's gone twice as long as that. Summer. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. And so, in this video... I can't really show you anything. Um, I was gonna show you gaming, but I can't because I've deleted them all. I'm not gonna get them again because I don't want my phone to go into those stupid problems. I only had them just to show you guys, and it just went off playing them. If you want to do gaming, get an Android device. But I'm not saying these are harmful things. It's just some Android apps are, I don't know, a bit dicky on your phone, and you might you might wanna have to uh, uninstall them. Or if your phone is having hiccups or problems. It's all due to Android, so just go ahead and reinstall an app or something, uh, maybe delete one, and it'll probably be back to normal life. I see you didn't remind me of this thing, I guess I don't have the reminder on, you asshole. Uh, what I'll say is, if you guys want me to do anything on this device, if you want me to check an app, uh, let me know in the comment section below, what I'll do is install the app, check it out and all that and see if it works then i'll let you know that it will work because i do have snap and that does have um uh all the apps and the games uh, you can't get games on this it, I, I think it's because i played too much of the other game and so that's why i kind of uh and by the way this home doesn't kind of work top three apps is facebook messenger apparently and also the the uh, scrolling on the keyboard doesn't work um, but yeah, that's about it, I guess. Okay, well, anyways, um, this is gonna be the last part on the whole series. To be honest with you, there's nothing I missed out. Um, I just did, a, a, well, I gave more Im information than a lot of other guys on YouTube, so you should thank me for that. But anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it here. There's nothing really to see over here. Emulators don't work, by the way, unless you get a Blackberry 10 one or a patched one, which I didn't really bother. Um, if you have any questions or anything I missed out, I don't know why I would have missed anything out, but if you did, if I did, then just let me know, I'll answer your questions. I'll see you again in a different video.